Drum roll, please. The Righteous Kitchen. I am getting ready to make a chicken teriyaki stir fry cauliflower rice bowl. So I'm just going to uh, get some things prepped real quick. I have about a pound or so of pre-chopped chicken. I had brought this home, chopped it up, put it in their freezer. So now I've let that defrost, it's cleaned, it's chopped and ready to go. I'm just going to put a few tablespoons of cooking oil and some righteous seasoning. I'll go ahead and stir this up. Okay, I'll set this to the side while I get my vegetables prepped. If your cauliflower rice gets hard and chunky in the freezer, just break it apart. Okay, so all you do is put this one in the uh, bag this side up you don't have to vent it you just have to make sure that it's this side up and i'm going to put mine because my microwave works really good um when i put it in there it's going to be for about four minutes and then i'll check on it i'm just going to go ahead and set it in the microwave for right now okay i have sliced mushrooms green beans so i just want to Clip the ends off of the green beans. I only clip one end. I keep the other, um, I don't clip that end. I only clip the skimmy, woody part. And then I'm going to just cut these in half. I have an onion. I'm just going to use half of the onion. There's my onion, and I'm going to use some fresh garlic. Let's see if I could do that little trick and get it out of the clove or out of the mouth. Well, let me try it with a butter knife. So I'll try that again with the butter knife. No. Okay, so I have everything prepped. Okay, it's important when you stir fry, you have everything ready to go because it cooks really quickly. I'm gonna hit it with a couple of tablespoons of cooking oil. Now I do have these in a little bit larger pieces. That's because I uh, store them in the freezer like that. 
So as they're cooking, you can make the pieces more bite-sized. I am going to take that out and put it in a clean bowl. Turn that heat down just a smidgen. Get some more oil in the pan. And I'm going to put the green beans. And the onion. I'm going to add a little bit of water because I do kind of want these to steam up and get cooked. It's also going to get that flavor off the pan. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and start the rice cauliflower in the microwave and let it cook for four minutes. Okay, I'm going to add the sliced mushroom. A little more oil. And the minced garlic. And I'll season it with some righteous seasoning. The cauliflower is done in the microwave, so I'm going to let it sit there. I'm returning the chicken to the pan. Now, I have a recipe for homemade teriyaki sauce, but I really like this uh, Yoshida teriyaki. So I'm going to put... For about two to three tablespoons. Reduce the heat and stir this to get everything coated. Now if you want to make sure it's done, just look for a larger piece of the chicken. Cut it open, and you can see it's done, but it's not overcooked. You don't want to overcook the chicken. All right, let's see what this looks like. Let me put the rice in this bowl so you can see it. That looks just like rice. I like it. Some people don't care for it, but I like it. Okay, there's the cauliflower rice. And here is the teriyaki uh, chicken mushroom, chicken mushroom and green beans. Let's get this plated up.
And there it is. Chicken teriyaki rice bowl with cauliflower rice so that it's healthy for you. The chicken is not overcooked. I like the cauliflower. The green beans are tender crisp. Just the way I like them. Not mushy. Thanks for watching The Rice's Kitchen. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.